It's your boy Henry Kellum. Welcome back to my channel. Another episode of q and I'm really excited. As always, I don't know any of these questions. It's a chance for you to get to know me a lot better. So let's get started. My favorite thing to do with Layla is uh, to pick her up, hold her like she's a little baby and say, that's my baby, Layla. That's my baby, Lay. I kiss her and play with her, uh, run around the house with her. I just love to make her laugh. Anything I can do to make her laugh, I'm a big uh, kid at the house. I'm dancing, I'm doing everything or whatever, but uh, just to see the smile on her face, if I gotta make a fool out of myself, it's all good, so. Yeah, I just love making my baby laugh as much as possible. I wanna keep her happy. She wakes up happy every morning, and uh, that's how I wanna do it, so. If she gotta laugh at me, so be it. If nothing else, just know that I cared. At the end of the day, I cared and I tried. If I could help, I will. And if I can't, I will not harm you. It's something I said when I was young as a child, God, I will not harm any of your children. If I can help, I will. So at the end of the day, just know that I truly cared about you. My favorite of all time is gonna be uh, No Hook with Jay-Z. No Hook, just the whole song, what he's talking about, poor me, dad was gone. Finally got my dad back, liver bad, they, uh, he wouldn't live long, they snatched my dad back. Guys, I never had that. And uh, when I hear that song, I just think about, you know, me and the parallels to my life and everything. So for me, it's more of a motivating type song. When I see it, I really feel it deep down inside. And it uh, empowers me to, you know, realize that no matter what my situation was, never play the victim. I always have a winner's mentality and you can always come out on top. So another shout out to my boy Hov because what you did for me was paint a picture that I couldn't see in the environment that I was in. So I had to live in my head. So with so many things that you said, and like you said, art with no easel. And uh, I really appreciate your words of wisdom through the years and uh, helping a boy from the dirt road find his way. Thank you. It's my consistency. I keep going no matter what. If I take a loss, I keep going. I take go through some pain, I keep going. Um, no matter what, I feel like if I give up, if I quit, that's when I really lose. So no matter what happens, I'm gonna be consistent. I'm gonna be consistent with my workout. I'm gonna be consistent with my personal development. I'm gonna be consistent in everything I do. And if you had to ask me what was the secret to my success, I would say consistency. Always doing what you can, even if it's only incremental over time that adds up. So stay consistent and keep going. My favorite scent is probably gonna be that bond number nine. I love the way it smells, and more than that, I love the way the public react to the way it smells on me. So when I'm thinking about my favorite scent, you know, I love cologne. I'm here, I'm there everywhere. But Bond number no. nine, Black Wall Street, has to be one of uh, my favorite scents. My favorite season of the year by far is springtime. Springtime because everything is renewing. Actually, my birthday is a couple days after spring too, March 24th, so you know, I'm a spring baby. But uh, you know, it's coming out of the winter, everything is cold and dead and dying, and I hate the cold and all of that. And the wind, the spring brings a sense of excitement, a sense of joy. You know, the weather about to warm up, it's time to uh, get to the beach and do things like that. So by far, the spring is uh, my favorite season. Well, like most men, I like to think I'm good at all sports. But uh, the worst, let's see. I would think baseball. I didn't play baseball a whole lot growing up. As far as hand-eye coordination, uh, I, I would say maybe baseball. I like hot weather better than cold weather. We all know cold weather is like a torture for me. I'm from down south in North Carolina. You know, we can have some pretty cold winters. And I can remember times in that trailer and the wind blowing and all we had was a kerosene heater in that front room. And if you can imagine five of us on a mattress right around that kerosene heater trying to keep warm, uh, I'm over it. So I take the warm weather over the cold weather any day. 
And I'm gonna tell you, by the time I was in Minnesota, it might have been 20 degrees below freezing. No, 20 degrees below zero. So we, we decided to walk around the block and it was torture. And I, I don't ever wanna feel cold, that cold again. So I'm a hot weather boy. Send me down south to where uh, it get warm at, somewhere close to the equator, to the islands, so I can get on the yacht and have some fun. I was born 1980, but if I had to go back to any time, I think I'm gonna go to the 60s. I would have liked to have been around doing the civil rights movements and things of that sort. So if I could see that firsthand, meet people like, you know, Malcolm was one of the people I wanted to meet, Martin Luther King, and people, the Freedom Riders, and people that actually stood up for uh, what's right, I wish I could be alive during that time so I can get a, a better sense of things. As always, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you found something of value. Please drop a comment below, let me know what you think, or if you have some questions you want me to answer next time, drop it below. And as always, peace out, high key lifestyle, see you next time.